Hey guys, I uh, wanted to show you what we're going to do today. Today we've been studying uh, parallel circuits and we're looking at how current reacts in parallel and how uh, resistance uh, is additive uh, through the reciprocal method in, in parallel. But before we do that, there's a few things that we have to know. And there's actually four things. And those four things are the rules that govern how parallel circuits uh, are, are, are acting okay, or how they behave. Okay? The first rule, uh, just like in series, is the voltage. Okay? So the rule for voltage in a parallel circuit is the voltage stays the same throughout the components and in parallel. So our equation for parallel uh, voltage is this one right here. Okay? The total voltage, E of T, is equal to E of 1, is equal to E of 2, is equal to E of 3. Okay? And I'll give you an example of what, what, what I mean by that. So we come over here to our parallel circuit, and let's assume that our battery source here has got a value of uh, 12 volts. Okay? Since the rule says that in parallel voltage stays the same across all the components, that means that across each one of these resistors, our voltage is going to be 12 volts across each one. Okay? That's the first rule. First rule is par in parallel for voltage is that it stays the same throughout all the components. Now, the second rule is the rule for current. The rule for current is that it is additive from all of the branches, meaning once you solve for the current in the branches, you just add them up. Okay? And here's the equation that we use. The total current is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. So if we come over here and we look at the total current, okay, let's assume uh, that we have this 12 volts, and we're going to say that the value of the resistor, uh, we'll keep it simple. We'll say 12 ohms. Okay? So each one of these resistors is 12 ohms. If I use my ohms law, for current, which is the voltage divided by the resistance, if I have 12 volts divided by 12 ohms, that gives me one amp of current through each one of the branches. So this would be one amp, this would be one amp, and this would be one amp. The rule says that it is additive, one plus one plus one, my total current would be 3 amps. Okay? That's the second rule. The second rule for current is that the individual currents are going to be uh, additive. The third rule for resistance, uh, this one's a little bit more in depth, okay? but the rule for resistance is that the total resistance is the sum of the reciprocated branches. And here's the equation that we use. And this equation is an outcome of what comes from uh, the voltage and the current equations uh, for parallel. Okay? But probably the easiest way to solve uh, for total resistance in parallel is using Ohm's law. Okay? I already have my total voltage and I have my total current. That means that my total <coughs> resistance is going to be 4 ohms. Okay? Now, how do we prove that using the reciprocated value? Well, the reciprocated formula would be something like this. 1 over uh, 12 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 12. You want to start off with doing the bottom first. Okay? 1 divided by 12 gives you a value plus 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 12 gives you a certain value, and then you, you reciprocate it, or you divide it into one again, and that should equal 4 ohms as well, okay? So that's the rule for resistance. Total resistance is the sum of the reciprocated uh, branches. As far as power, this is the last rule. Power in parallel is the same rule, power in series. The sum of the individual powers. Total power is the sum of all of the individual powers. So I should probably put uh, something like right here. Total power 
is the sum of all the individual powers. So once I calculate the power for P1, the power for P2, the power for P3, just add them up and that will give you your uh, total power. Okay, and here's your equation. PT is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. So to uh, cover these real quickly one more time, voltage in parallel stays the same through all the components. The currents are going to be additive. You've got to solve for the individual currents in the branches and add them up. Uh, total resistance, this is just one of the formulas that you can use. It's the reciprocated formula uh, to find total resistance. Uh, or you can say total resistance is the sum of the reciprocated branches. And then the last one, power. Total power is the sum of the individual powers. PT is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. Okay, next video I'll show you guys how to uh, work this problem out just a little bit further to solve all the unknown values. Okay, but for now, we're out.